whole lot on the line in this match as 360 is playing for the number one seed and they are off to a great start. One, two, three notes into the speaker. Here comes number four. Will they get there in time? They do. Five total notes in the speaker for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance, not too shabby. Two notes of their own. It's 29 to 16 in favor of Blue as drivers now at the controls. 2980, the Whidbey Island Wildcats put the first note into the amp and immediately the Blue Alliance hits the cooperation button. They know that those are at that point is very valuable in the rankings as we approach the end of our day. For the Red Alliance, it's 25-22, but they have to go through the Roboctopi and the long tentacles of that orange machine slowing down the Red Alliance scoring effort. Royal Robotics able to put a note in the speaker but how much time was lost trying to get around the Roboctopi. Catastrophe on the Blue Alliance as 360 has gone dead. Signal light blinking in their Lion Station and their players do not look happy. FTA is attending to it. We'll see if they can come back. Still plenty of time for them to spring back to life as the Blue Lions continues to lead 36 to 24. 5937 MI Robotics working on the Red Alliance amp. That note goes in and out. They'll step back and try it again. 949 Wolverine Robotics patrolling center field for Red and trying to get out of their alliance's way. Things not looking good for 360. Human controllers are hands off. It may be three on two the rest of the way. And Royal Robotics is going to close the gap with two more Red Alliance points into the speaker for that side. 5937 also inoperable at the moment, so now we're looking at a two-on-two -two affair with 40 seconds to play, 41 to 26. Never like for this to be how the competition ends, but it is a part of robotics to keep your machines operational all competition long. Blue Alliance has the lead as the Whitby Island Wildcats have seamlessly taken over for the revolution, handling the scoring efforts. Roboctopi already on stage for Blue. Here comes 2980 to put more points in the speaker. It looks like the Melody rank point's going to be out of reach for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance trying to get off the ground. I see 949 on stage. Here comes 2980 on stage for Blue. Royal Robotics off the ground as well. And match 68 concludes with all four operational machines in the air and on stage. Very nice work. We're going to clean this up and get you your final results in just a moment. For the final time in qualifications, head referee Aaron Schmitz has given up the thumbs up. Scores are official, and this match belongs to the Blue Alliance. 53 to 38, an excellent job by the Blue Alliance overcoming their lead robot going down. But of course, those two rank points not quite enough to help 360 get to the number one seed. 2980 would be on Wildcats, though, do move into position to be an Alliance captain at number seven. Royal Robotics will be there as well at the number five seed. Our qualification matches are complete, which means teams, it is now time, if you have not done so already, for you to send one and only one team member over to the hallway area outside of Pit Admin. We are going to be beginning our alliance selection process very shortly, and we need all teams represented. So once again, please send a representative Please send a representative over to the pit admin area. We'll be right back with our alliance selection process shortly.